I really love their apostrophes, huh? Wait, I thought he... Oh, Garland. Jesus. Why didn't you buy a glamour? We only have like five minutes. They carry me for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit. We forgot these. Oh, thank you. It's uh, been pretty busy around here. Morning, Sheriff. Nice fucking day. Ugh, shit. Just go grab that, would you? Sorry about all this. Uh, I tried to help. Just why the hell did she have to send me and me boy away, huh? You promised me I'll get another chance. But Miss White said I had to go up to the damn farm anyway. I told her I had the money, but she didn't want to hear it. Oh, I see. Come on, Colin. I'm walking, all right? Calm down. Well, hurry up, little Jesus. Wait, Sheriff Bigby. I have something. <laughs> you know, he was up crying all night, poor kid. Can you give this to Miss White, please? Dad says there's no time to say goodbye, so... If you could bring it to her? Yeah, sure. I couldn't take them all with me, and she said she liked that oh, one the best. Oh, the butterfly. Oh, or the, the bugs. Willow beetle. That's a big one. They're cool, because when they're little, they have these pouches that squirt juice at you if you touch them. I'm sure she'll love it. She said it was pretty. Aww. That's everybody. What's it like at the farm? I've heard ogres live there, and, and they eat people in their sleep sometimes. God, I hope not. Do we have to go? I want to stay here. Well, we don't have a choice anymore. <laughs> don't worry. You'll be a lot safer there. There's plenty of space to run around, uh, and a nice river nearby so you can swim all you want. Even in daytime? Yeah. Sure. You don't have to worry about the Monday seeing you. It'll be nice. <laughs> Come on. It won't be so bad. Have you been there before? No. I'm, uh... Some of the animals aren't comfortable around wolves, so you wouldn't know, would you? Oh boy, come on, you have All to set. say that. Bye, Mr. Wolf. Goodbye, Bye, TJ. TJ. Are you still mad at me? Would it change your mind? You got another one of those? How about a smoke for the road? Thanks, Bigby. I should Always probably quit. a gentleman, aren't you, Bigby? I guess I'll see you around. All right. Stay out of trouble, okay? If yeah. you even can. Try. Yeah, me too. Saying goodbye? Yep. Hey. Hi. Hi. You're still wearing that thing. Oh. Yeah. I guess I am. It's not easy to forget. I know it mm. seems like I should be able to. It's just... It's okay. I get it. Listen, I... I came here because I have to tell you something. Okay. What is it? It's about what happened to Faith and Lily. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where to start. <sighs> Faith... Lily and I, we had this plan. We were gonna find a way out. Leave the pudding and pie for good. Okay. But then Faith decided to get some leverage. She stole a picture of Crane and Lily together. The minute Faith stole that photo, we had dirt on one of the crooked man's allies. If he found out, I... I had no choice. You have to understand. 
Okay. You've seen how they kept us quiet in that place. Marissa, just tell me what happened. I freaked out, okay? Mm -hmm. I thought if I came clean to Georgie, he'd get the crooked man to leave us alone. We could just forget the whole thing. Maybe try again in a few years. You what? So I told him everything. And I begged for mercy for all of us. Okay. I didn't want anyone to die over a picture. You were just trying to protect them. Yeah. Georgie promised he'd smooth things over with the crooked man. But then... Oh, God. <laughs> Here. Thank you. Calms the nerves, I hear. I don't know what happened, but that night at the club, Georgie came back and told me things had changed. Okay. We had to make an example of us. We had committed treason. And while the two of us were sitting there, as he was telling me this, Faith walked in, and I had to watch while Georgie... Wait, so Georgie told you all this? Not the crooked man? Back at the well, you said... I know what I said. But it wasn't the truth, was it? What does it matter? I know the crooked man did it. So what if it wasn't the whole truth? It was true enough. I guess right. uh, it's done as done. I know he ordered their deaths. I wasn't going to let him get away with it because of a stupid technicality. Especially after... That night, right. after Faith. I tried to warn Lily, but she wasn't with her scheduled appointment. So I did the only thing I could do. I... I left Faith's head at your doorstep. You? Gotcha. I walked her over here, and I left her. You were trying to get my attention. So you... you started all this. I just... pointed you in the right direction. People like us get forgotten all the time. The crooked man was it. counting on that. When we suffer, we do it in silence. And the world likes it that way. Right. We just... fade. Like we never existed. I couldn't watch that happen to Faith or Lily. Nobody cares about us. I'm sorry, Narissa. I'm sorry that's what it took to get me to pay attention. It'll be different now. You'll make things right. You and Snow. I don't know. <laughs> Seems like no matter what I do, it's just not enough for her or anyone. I just can't win with these people. I know it might feel that way, but. They need you, Bigby. Both of you. You two make a good team. The way you look out for each other. And look out for us. You don't see that a lot these days. I don't really know where we stand anymore. Things are just... different. Huh. Things are always different. I guess. Look, Bigby. After everything you've done for us, maybe they don't want to admit it, but without you... None of this would have happened. You listened True. when no one else would. You knew when to show mercy, and you brought justice to this town. Finally, because Yay. you brought the crooked man in, everyone saw who he really was. So from where I'm standing, you did the right thing. You've been given this job for a reason. And I left Faith at your doorstep because I knew if anyone stood a chance against the crooked man, it was you. I hope I've at least done some good here. You've changed this place. For better or worse, Fable Town wouldn't be the same without you. Yeah. I did some good. You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Oh! Have we heard death before? I have to tell you something. I feel like we've met before. You're trying to place me. You like my ribbon? Do you like it? Faith wore one too. Would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. They used to call me the Little Did Mermaid. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? He said he wanted to run more tests. I hope you find what you're looking for. Oh, 
I'll see you around. Wolf. <laughs> Yay! What did you do to Georgie? You and 68.6% .6 of players killed Georgie. Well, because why would you let him suffer, right? Did you give the crooked man a trial? Wow, a lot of people did. How did you punish the crooked man? You and 47.4% of players choose to improve. That's less than half. Okay. Did you accept teacher's gift for snow? Well, 1.5% of people are assholes, so there you go. What were your last words to that? I saw you and 54.8%. Percent of players said, I hope I've done some good. Okay. Alright, special stats. Beast, you lied to him about seeing beauty outside of the apartment. Well, who didn't, I guess. Beauty, you promised her you wouldn't tell Beast that you saw her. You impressed her with your detective skills. Little weird, you fought him after the interrogation. Colin, you gave him a drink when he asked for one in your apartment and you sent Colin to the farm. The crooked man. You took him back to the witching well and you imprisoned him. Faith. You gave her money after the fight with the woodsman and she, she died. So. Greenleaf, you offered her a job. Gren, you drank with Gren after Lily's funeral. Marissa, you gave her a cigarette during your final conversation. Snow, you brought her along with you to the trick trap. You promised to bring the crooked man back alive, which I did. Tiny Tim, you choose to wait for him. PJ, you accepted his beetle and promised to give it to Snow. Toad, you stood up for him when Snow wanted to send him to the farm, and I gave him money. Alright. I did pretty good, I'd say. <laughs> Alright! This was season one of Wolf Among Us. It's been a ride. I think the um the later episodes were a bit less uh I I want I don't want to say eventful, but maybe that's that's the word. <laughs> um like in the beginning there was more gasp and blah and you know what I mean. Um the past two episodes were just kinda like closing up and tying shit together, but that's, you know, that's fine. Um, I'm curious to see about the second season that is supposedly coming out. I don't know when. I just heard something recently about it. Um, I might pick it up if you guys would like to see it. It would definitely be interesting to see how this whole well, how everything is like linked with Narissa and um, was it Faith? I think it seemed to be the same person, like what he said in the end, Buffkin, about the hiding and whatnot. So it would be interesting to see what the hell that's all about. I mean, staging your own death. A good way to get away from shit, right? <laughs> but I don't know. So far, we can just speculate. So we'll see what happens there. Um, I really enjoyed the game. I I like uh, Telltale games, anyways. Um, if at least you could tell that some stuff here actually got influenced by how you decided, even though some stuff was gonna happen anyway, like you know, some people dying and whatnot. So. That's too bad, but it's cool. Um, I have played a Game of Thrones before from Telltale, uh, which I think there's another season coming up. But fuck, if I know, I'm assuming. Uh, there's a new season coming for this again, from what I heard, and there's a whole bunch of more Telltale games that I have in my Steam uh, library. And I'd be interested in playing those. Definitely. I have uh, Walking Dead, Batman, uh, and I don't know what else, so I'd be down. Let me know if you're hype about that. <laughs> Alright, continue the story. Um, yeah, these are the comics, which this is all based on. Fables. So if you would like to read more about all of this, that's where you gotta go. 
comics, graphic novels, whatever, you know what I mean. Apparently they're pretty good. I need to check sometime when I have a bit more time. <laughs> Alright, let's see the extras before we close this. Mm. Okay. Vivian's story, the girl with the ribbon. Vivian was the very first to bear the curse of the purple ribbon. Removing the ribbon would result in death, and any attempt to talk about it was thwarted by the spell upon it. As time went on, she tried to live a normal life. Eventually she married a nice man, but he was constantly wondering about the ribbon around her neck. Despite her pleas for him to leave it alone, one night while she was sleeping, he attempted to remove it. As he pulled on the edge of the string, Vivian woke and saw what her husband was doing. In a panic, she pulled away, preventing the ribbon, ribbon's knot from being undone. Furious, she tried to express the severity of this action, but her husband was unable to understand. She realized then that she couldn't trust him and decided to leave. She lived alone for the rest of her days in the homelands, preferring the safety of isolation to the risk of another betrayal. That's kind of sad. Pudding and pie. Um, I guess if you want to read this, just pause and read. I don't know if you need this. Winter Wolf. Oh, that's her mom. Uh, his mom. Sorry. Bigby's mother, Winter, fell in love with the North Wind and bore him seven wolf cubs. But he quickly grew tired of her and left Winter. Jesus Christ, what an asshole. Heartbroken and alone, she tried to care for her cubs despite her grief. She was especially fond of Bigby, but as the runt of the litter, he was often teased by his older brothers. After Winter's death, Bigby's siblings went in search of their father, but Bigby stayed behind to protect his mother's corpse from scavengers. Unfortunately, he was too small to defend her. From then on, he vowed to eat something bigger each day until he was large enough to confront his father and finally make him pay for the pain he caused his family. Oh. The big bad wolf, he looks cute! Big beast your form is that of a giant, eight foot tall wolf. In addition to his iconic huff and puff power, he has also inherited other abilities from his father, the North Wind. Ah, uh, now it makes sense. For example, Bigby is able to hold his breath for an abnormally long amount of time, making it impossible for him to drown. Cool. Mary's loyalty. Uh, Bloody Mary began working for the Crooked Man many centuries ago. He promised her freedom to do as she pleased, as long as she agreed to act as his personal bodyguard and hitman. Because of the Crooked Man's power and influence, Mary never had to worry about getting caught by the authorities. She enjoys her job immensely and would defend the crooked man to the death. Mostly because she finds it fun. Well, she did! Table plums justice. Oh, so this is basically the whole concept. Again, if you want to read this. There we go. A new order, Snow White in charge. Yeah, let's... Let's look at this. With Crane out of the picture, Mayor Cole has officially appointed Snow White as the Director of Operations and Deputy Mayor in his absence. Many would say this promotion is a long time coming, since she was instrumental in the establishment of Fable Town and personally ensured that many fables made it to the New World safely. She's also been doing the work of Deputy Mayor unofficially for years. Yeah. Sheriff Bigby? What else is there to say about him? After fleeing the homelands, Bigby Wolf spent many years wandering through Europe. With a fable colony quickly developing in the New World, Snow White and Feathertop tracked down the wolf and offered him passage to Fable Town. He agreed, and Snow caught him with a lycanthropy stained knife to give him the power to change into human form at will. Bigby became sheriff of Fable Town under King Cole's administration, but because of his violent past, many fables didn't trust him and he was banned from ever setting foot on the farm. To this day, he struggles to redeem himself in the eyes of the community. Well, I think we did pretty good. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Cool! 
There's a few more things I need to get, I guess, but I'll do that off cam. It's just for achievement purposes on Steam. Not that much. Alright. So, this is pretty much it. Uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed. If you'd be interested, I could play Season 2. And if you'd be interested, I could play Walking Dead, Batman, etc. Um, I'd be hyped, especially for Batman. So, let me know what you think. And we'll see how that goes. So, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for joining, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hiya! Thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Please make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content. Don't be shy about leaving me a comment with your thoughts either. Make sure to check out my other work as well if you'd like to support me. Thank you and until next time. Bye y'all! <laughs>